Day number five, picnic table talk. Andrew Capone from Horse Racing Nation. We are in the backyard underneath the pine trees. My guest today, Ben Wilkie. Ben, how's it going? Not too bad, how are you? Doing well, Ben's uh, a handicapper I've known for about four or five years now. He also works here at, uh, at Naira, so it's good to have you on the show. Um, you're definitely a committed Naira player. I feel like you've played every sequence of every race for the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. uh, tell me a little bit, what does Saratoga mean to you coming up here? Oh, it's great up here. Um, love the fans. It's just a different kind of atmosphere up here, you know, compared to Belmont or Aqueducts. It's just a whole new world. It's great. So we start off today's car with our first jump race of the year, but we're going to skip on that one. We're going to focus on race number nine today. Uh, the Susan O'Kane, first running of it. New York Reds going one and one sixteenth of a mile on the turf course. Um, we had a field of nine, three all MTOs, all of them scratched. Pretty nice weather. We got 2.6 inches of rain in the last three days. Um, the turf has dried out pretty good. They, they have it listed, I believe, as firm right now. Um, it's, yes, listed as firm right now. So we'll see how that turf plays. We had 63% of horses going wire to wire so far this meet on those turf routes. So it's definitely playing sort of forward. Um, pretty interesting race here. There's quite a little bit of pace signed up on that front end. Um, where did you land? Um, so I thought Joe Sharp has a very strong hand in this race with the one and four. Um, I prefer the four myself. Um, but I, I do really like Luis Saez picking up the mount on the one. I think that horse hasn't been able to settle on the lead recently in the last couple of races. He comes in off a of lesser company, but this really isn't the strongest of races. So I'm going to use the four and the one. So two pair of Joe Sharps there. I thought the one was very interesting as well. I think that Saez is seeing this turf better than anybody. Um, if you follow us on Instagram and or YouTube or Twitter, you've seen all of our videos posting with the jockeys. And clearly he says that the turf is forward and he sees it playing more forward. Um, on our Saratoga Morning Report, we spoke to Miguel Clement the other day. He's one of the trainers, he's the assistant trainer for the number five horse here coming in. She's Mia, stretching out from seven furlongs going to that one and one sixteen. Did you take a look at this horse any, uh, yet, the morning line favorite? Yeah, see, I'm I'm like the biggest Astron fanboy of all time, right? But I exclusively play these horses in sprints, turf sprints. Turf sprints, they have about a, like, a, almost five, maybe six ROI, dollar ROI in these turf sprints. Um, since this horse has come over from uh, Cleveland Johnson, I think it was a private purchase, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Um, you know, it just, you know, it just hangs, you know, it just uh, hasn't been able to get the job done. This is a pretty... Uh, it's really not a very competitive field, but I uh, I would love to take a chance against it. Yeah, I think it's a really good play against it. I think the horse is going to be a little too far back to close into. I think those one and four are going to be out there. Interested to see if the Joe Sharp horse's speed duel up front. Um, it seems like that four can definitely get up there. But follow us on YouTube, like and subscribe. We're here every single day of the Saratoga meet. This is day number five, Picnic Table Talk. Good luck with all your bets.